So Innovative Industrial Properties is an interesting rate stock that recently just came on my radar and I wanted to share my findings with you. So in this video, we're gonna go over the fundamentals, we're gonna have a look at the financials and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm seeing in the stock right now. Before we jump into this video, I just wanna ask you a really big favor. I need you to click on that like button and turn it blue because it helps us with the YouTube algorithm. So if you can go ahead and click on the like button now. So having a look at Innovative Industrial Properties, they trade under the ticker on the NYCE at IIPR, and that's Innovative Industrial Properties. Now this is a stock that came on my radar. I'm always looking for good dividend stocks, and of course we can see they have got a dividend yield over here, and that's one of the reasons why I actually started looking at them. In addition to which, I started disinvesting from real estate many, many years ago. Uh, probably about four or five years ago, I started heavily disinvesting and started moving more towards these sort of rates. And uh, this is a stock that caught my attention. So let's have a look at this. First of all, the market cap, a whopping 5.5 .5 billion on market cap. The share price uh, less than 10 years ago was 2025, currently trading at 233.30, and they have a P ratio of 57.91, with get this, a profit margin of 58.72. That is a huge profit margin. They've got net, net equity of 1.5 billion, they have a dividend yield of 2.2%, and of course, even after paying that dividend, they still have positive free cash flow. Now, coming down to the year on years, this is where things get really interesting. We can see pretty much everything has got runways of green, except for the number of shares outstanding. Number of shares outstanding have gone up a little bit uh, over the last three years, but nothing like too ridiculous in terms of the total number of shares out in the marketplace at the moment. Uh, their assets have gone up quite dramatically, to 281 million to 1.7 billion. Uh, have a look at total equity, gone from 264 million to 1.5 billion in the trailing 12 months. And of course, everything else pretty much on the up and up. Revenues up, gross profits up, operating incomes up, net incomes up, operating cash flows up, and free cash flow growth is up. So all of these heading in the right direction. Now this brings us to the 12 point fundamental checklist that I have for every single stock that I look at. Now, if you are interested in these 12 points and you really want to understand why these 12 specific points, you can go and check out the video in the link card up above. I'm gonna to link to a video where I've broken down each of these 12 points. I've even time stamped it so you can go over the points over and over again to help you really understand why we ask these specific questions. Now, coming to the checklist, the first thing we're looking for is momentum in the share price. And I wanna know specifically, has the share price doubled since inception or since the tenure? And of course, it definitely has. Is the P ratio between one and 25? Unfortunately, I've just made a little bit of a mistake there. Unfortunately not so we must mark them down. Profit margin, however, very strong at 59%, so they get a mark there. Assets are greater than liabilities, and of course, the dividend cost is less than free cash flow growth. Unfortunately, the number of shares outstanding have not been going down consistently, however, nothing too ridiculous at the moment. However, total revenue is up, gross profit is up, operating income is up, net income from continued operations is up, and of course, operating cash flow and free cash flows, all of these are up for three years in a row. So the stock on the fundamentals is doing really well. They're scoring about 90%. Obviously I made one little mistake in my checkbox up here, but it's about 90% on the fundamentals and their fundamental negative is about 10%. So this is probably one of the better stocks I've reviewed in a very long time. Now the industry median price target is 245. They currently have a return on equity of 7.71 and a return on asset at 3.97. I think 250 is probably a fair price on where they're gonna end over the next 12 months. And uh, that's a potential gain of 16.70 per share, or in real terms, 7.16%. Now, realistically speaking, with that dividend of 2% plus, that's gonna give you about nine points over the next uh, 12 months. And honestly speaking, I think this is a great stock backed up by solid assets, and that's something that I really like. Now, looking at the sentiment, if you currently hold the stock, I would say you should continue to hold. If you're looking at the stock for the first time, wondering if you should buy in, I think it is a good stock, but I think at 233.30, I think you need a margin of safety, and so I am looking at about, probably about 220, 
to get into the stock. I think that's probably gonna be my price point to enter. I do already have some in my portfolio. Um, I did do a little bit of buy-in, but I'm gonna keep buying in and hopefully be able to average down a little bit. That being said, it's a great stock, great assets behind the company, and uh, definitely go and check it out. And of course, that is on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker IIPR, and that is for Innovative Industrial Properties Inc. Now, of course, if you guys did enjoy this video, please help us by clicking on the like button. If you've got any questions or comments around the video that I've just put out uh, and any of the and, um, any of the financial data that I've just analyzed, please let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing because we have great content like this coming out every single day. Before you go, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel and join the Global Money Tribe. And because I know you need a little bit of extra motivation every month, I'm going to be giving away a signed copy of my book, The Money Secret, as well as some really cool channel merch. So if that's not a big enough motivation to subscribe, come and subscribe for the content because every single day we're adding absolutely great content teaching you to invest, save and manage your money situation.